poor player is stuck out in the middle of the wilderness, lost and alone. But then she hears a loud thumping noise. <coughs> oh no, it's a land shark. <coughs> uh, this little fella here uh, is going to be the focus of our video today. Uh, these little uh, nasties like to burrow under the ground and then burst out and uh, swallow hapless player characters. But what we want to do is to mark the areas where they burst from the ground. Uh, they can become difficult terrain and that type of thing, or players can even fall in the hole. Uh, so a nice, uh, nice uh, little thing to have on the battlefield uh, to hamper your player characters. Uh, I'm going to show you how to craft those today on the DM's Craft. All right, so I've got my cardboard here. And what I'm going to do is going to use this tape roll. It's about the same size as the base for the creature. So I'll just trace inside. And there I have my uh, circle. And this is thin cardboard. So what I'm going to do is grab my toilet paper. And I'm just going to get some water. And I will just dip some toilet paper. I'm going to take break off the sheets, individual sheets. I'm just going to dip them in the water. I'm actually not going to use any glue. So I'll just start placing them down to build a ring. covering up some of the uh, seams and this is wet enough that I don't even need to put any water on this okay now I don't want to build this ring too high because then uh, the players won't be able to stand on it and things so that seems about a good height so I'll wipe some of that water off As you know, the wire tends to warp the cardboard. So now that I've got the ring created, I'm going to put the glue on afterwards. So I'll grab my glue, start applying it to the ring, and then just smear it on with my finger. And that should soak into the ring. All right, so we got that covered with some glue. We'll let that dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Here my ring is dried. Uh, what I did was I put another layer of glue on it after uh, the first one dried. So I've let it dry, these let dry for a few days. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out, but I'm not going to cut them so close to the edge of the crater. I'm going to cut them a little bit out. So I'm going to give it like a quarter of an inch. All right, nice. So now I've got my uh, crater base. Now what I'll do is I'm going to put some more detail on there and we'll move to that step. Now it's glue gun time. I'm going to grab my uh, large glue gun here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the edges first. So I'm going to kind of go around the edge. Just kind of cover that up. Now I'm going to let that dry for a sec so I don't burn myself on the rest of the project and uh, we'll get back to it. Now 
Now I'm going to put some more detail on it with the glue gun. So I'm kind of going to go to the edge and just kind of pull up, put some glue on there and just kind of pull it up. Make it look like some of that has fallen off or give it some more texture. This next step you could skip, but what I'm gonna do is I wanna have a little bit of loose uh, earth on this. So I'm gonna get my white glue and I'm gonna just do some areas on this. I'm not gonna go in the center. And that'll give a little bit of uh, a loose earth look to this. So I'll just grab my uh, construction sand and just pour it on there. So I'll let that dry for about an hour and then we'll, uh, then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'm gonna paint it, spray paint it black, uh, flat black, and then we'll come back and paint it up. Here's my crater uh, base painted black and I think it came out really nice. Uh, you can see there's a lot of nice detail on there as well as a little bit of uh, dirt texture, uh, roughness, but not too much to cover up the, all, all the detail. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a, um, a little bit of wetted down uh, burnt umber and this won't show up very much probably on the video but because it's a very very dark brown. I'm even going to paint the center hole it up. And like I said before, I made uh, a bunch of these at one time, so you just do all these steps all at once, and then you have as many as you need. All right, so there we go. We have got that uh, base painted the dark brown. We'll let that uh, dry up, and then we'll uh, start adding some detail color. You can see my darker brown is dried and it's pretty dark. But uh, now we're going to put some uh, lighter brown on. And this will kind of bring out the texture of the piece. All right, now I'll let that dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Got my nice dirt brown dry on there, it looks really good. But I wanna add a little extra variation in the color. So I am going to add some gray. So I'll get it on my brush. And then there's some uh, sand areas that I put on there and I'm going to pick out those just a little bit. This one doesn't have a lot of construction sand on it, but it has a little bit. So let's pick up a little bit of that and that'll kind of give it some in, a little extra interest. I'm also going to put a little bit of lighter gray on there. I'm just going to put it right on. I'm not going to wait. And I'm going to be really light handed with this. All right. So looking good. Uh, one last detail and we'll be finished.
So my last detail is I'm gonna paint the uh, center, repaint it black. So I'll grab my black and then just pop it in there. All right, now I could leave it like that, but I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, the brown uh, to make it look like it's kind of going down into the, um, into the crater. So I'll just grab a little bit of my light brown and I'm getting it on the edge of the brush and then I'm just gonna kinda hit the edge. And I'll just help it look like it's going down into the, yeah, just, just a slight effect, but but it, it, adds a little, it adds a little bit to the project. So, All right, there we go. We'll let that dry and I'll show you what it looks like on the battlefield. So it turned out really nice. Um, I got a, uh, uh, looks good. Uh, definitely looks like a hole uh, this uh, critter could have come out of. Um, Makes a great uh, obstacle for the uh, players. Also, look, the players uh, can kind of stand on it too, so it's not um, too crazy. It's not too uh, large or anything where they would, the players would fall off. So if they needed to, they could they could you could put players on it. Um, you could also make a regular crater out of this, just not make it look like a hole. Put uh, some kind of dirt, so uh, maybe a little bit of, of the sand in there uh, to fill it in and. Uh, I'd do it around the edges and in the center, but not too thick because you don't want to lose the effect of the crater itself. But yeah, really nice uh, crater hole there. And um, there we go. And I'll see you next time on DM's Craft. Rawr.